That's just crazy. It's terrible. It shouldn't happen. All right, let's try and change the mood now, okay? That was a very upsetting phone call. Let's try and have some fun with the piece everyone always enjoys. You've seen this a million times on different talk shows. It's called Actual Items. All right, let me explain how it works. We have an amazing crack research team, not a research team on crack, that changed <laughs> after 1998. And what we do is they look... 99. Uh, they look through magazines. They look through supermarket handouts. They look through circulars, all that kind of stuff. And they cut out advertisements that have something kind of funky in them. Maybe it's a typo, maybe it's a weird phrasing, something like that. And the fun part about these is you can't make them up. They're just real. It's life in this place we call America, and it's fun. So let's take a look at some of these right now. I think you're going to really like these. First of all, uh, it's an ad that someone found from the Santa Fe Beacon in Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's an ad for different kinds of tools. You got all kinds of tools there, which is a handy thing to have. And this ad looked normal. We thought it was just fine. But look what it says right here next to these saws. It says, the number one choice of the Gambino crime family. <laughs> That's insane. Why put that in your ad? <laughs> I'm sure it works. I'm sure they're very good. And you can't make these up. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> they're all real. For example, this one. I, I don't know what's going on here. It's an ad from the Centerville Chronicle in Centerville, Ohio. It's an ad for women's clothes. All right? And everything looked fine. Nice there. It's like, for, I think there's spring separates right here. Nice outfit, top and bottom. But look what it says right here. It says, note, professional black model, do not attempt this sass at home. <laughs> I'm glad they said that. I'm glad they said that because a lot of people would say, I'm going to try some of that sass. <laughs> I mean, you look like me and you try that sass in a mirror, <laughs> that's not a good thing. <laughs> All right, next up, it's, this is an ad from the Nashua Herald in Nashua, New Hampshire. It's an ad for carpeting, and everything looked fine, just wall-to-wall -wall carpeting there. It looked like a normal ad. But then look at this teddy bear over here. I don't know what's... <laughs> strange choice. Is Budweiser a sponsor on the show? Do they buy time on this show? Are they going to be happy with that, do you think? Why? The teddy bear is clearly enjoying the Budweiser. Look at that teddy bear. That's a teddy bear that loves that fine product, Budweiser. Budweiser gets angry about that, so help me God. I'm going to apologize and have it removed from the show. Because I'm a corporate whore. I Next, we have an ad from the Rochester Dispatch in Rochester, New York. It's an ad for Ben Gay, okay? Ben Gay, that's a good product right there. Everyone likes to use Ben Gay. I'm having some soreness. But look what it says right here. Do they need this? It says, still the best-selling product with the word gay in its name. <laughs> what about Gatorade? trying to enjoy myself a little out here. Why can't I have some fun? No, no fun for me? Killer ass, Max. Killer ass. Really, you have tight buns. Tight. I've looked at them all the time. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Ratings through the sky. Here we go. Next one. Next ad we had is from the Jacksonville Gazette in Jacksonville, Florida. It's an ad for children's medicine. Children's cough medicine. And they have three different kinds here. There's fever and pain. There's congestion, but look at this one. Adopted. That's... A kid shouldn't see that. I know with you. Boo. Right, exactly. <laughs> People are booing. <laughs> booing a free show. I, I agree with... <laughs> Boo! <laughs> this did not meet with my high standard. I came here for free to get in out of the rain, and that was disappointing. <laughs> All right, next up we have an ad from the Portland Pub. <laughs> oh, that's a problem. Hello, yeah. Good morning, Bill oh, God. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Bill. Goodbye, I'm not you know, talking you know, to you. Corner, wait. And look, I'm sorry, I'm ashamed of myself. It'll never happen again. Okay, well, that's... Oh. Wait a minute. Bill, what the hell is that noise? A uh, washing machine, Conan. Oh. 
Wait a minute. Oh, my my oh. God. Are you sitting on the washing machine? Yes. Hey, hey, ask me why I'm like Election Day. Bill, why are you like Election Day? Because Election Day is coming soon. <laughs> I am hanging out. That's oh, ridiculous. I am sorry. I am sorry. This... We shouldn't have this phone out here. That's insane. We should learn, Jeff. We shouldn't have... He couldn't call if the phone wasn't out here. I apologize. It's terrible what just happened. Just terrible. All right, let's get back to the uh, real ads. You can't make these up. It's an ad from the Portland Post in Portland, Maine. It's an ad for Tidy Cat's Kitty Litter. Yeah, Tidy Cat's Kitty Litter. That's good stuff if you have a cat. Works well, I guess. Then look what it says here. This bothered me. It says, convert even the smallest cat turds into David Spade movies. I just... Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right. Finally, here's one from the screen, Spring Green Post in Spring Green, Wisconsin. And very innocent looking ad. It's an ad for little boys' underwear. Nice boxer shorts right there. Nothing happened yet. <laughs> Nothing happened yet. Now they don't like the premise. Now... <laughs> Now they're turning on the premise. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Underwear? I don't like the way this might go. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with this area. <laughs> we have an ad. It's, it's an ad. These are real ads. This is an ad for little boys' uh, underwear. Boxer shorts right there. And that's a nice product. I guess that's Hanes. Those are fine little kids' underwear. But look what it says here. It says, tamper-proof fly tested at Neverland Ranch. <laughs> and that... When we come back, Jason Schwartzman's here.